Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with a thing. It's a very specific thing. It's a beer. It's a beer that was sent to me by Kyle, because Kyle is a maniac in a good way. And he sent me a box of beers excuse me and then he sent me another box of beers and this is from the second box that he sent me uh i believe it was a box of almost entirely double ipas there were six of them i think one one was a triple ipa and then i think one's just a ipa yeah and, and then the other four are double IPAs. This being one of the four. This is Finback's Double Dry Hopped, Double Something Simcoe. Double Dry Hopped, Double India Pale Ale. Finback. Be fresh, drink now. Double Dry Hopped, Double IPA, Dry Hopped with Simcoe. 8.5% alcohol by volume. This was canned on 12-1, which makes this 28 days old. It's probably garbage. It's probably absolute garbage. What is that, a month? That's like the whole month of February. That carbonation was cool. I was I, I thought there were like chunks in it, but it was just the it was just the carbonation. It was very nice. I, I like it. Mm. See, the reason why I chose to drink this one right now is because I know Finback and I know their IPAs aren't, or at least the ones I've had, aren't like the super uh fucking um like super haze ones. And so uh, I prefer my IPAs to be a little, uh, a little, uh, a little transparent, a little clear, semi-clear, slight haze, not full haze, or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, it is. I would say it's. It's yellow, just on the verge of going orange. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely transparent. It's not um, slight haze, obviously. Uh, I think there was about a finger of this white. Reminds me a little bit of like soda carbonation. A little bit. It's not not completely, but just a little bit. But yeah. Looks nice. I like it. I'm excited. Let's see what it smells like. Mmm. So it says it's dry hop with Simcoe, so I'm assuming there's other hops in here, but it seems like Simcoe is, it's very piney. Um, what's the other word? There's a little bit of um, green grassiness. Grassiness. Does Matt say that? Or does someone say green grassiness? I don't know. I feel like I'm stealing everybody's words. Um, I am getting a little bit of alcohol in the alcohol vapor. Yeah, it smells good.
maybe a slight like uh, citrus thing with the pininess, like piney citrus kind of thing. Like I said, it says double dry hopped with with Simcoe, so I don't know if there's a, I don't know if it's just dr double dry hopped or if um, there's other hops before the dry hop. But uh, yeah, let's get into it and down the mouth hole thing. Cheers, Kyle. Or cheers, Kyle. Cheers. Thanks, Kyle. Um, first I'm going to say is I, on the back, there is this, um, I don't, I don't think it's oxidation, but it does remind me of like wet cardboard a, a little bit, not like just a little bit, but I think, I think it might be a combination of the hops and the malt in this because it's not as it's not as like even even some subtle oxidation in like in like an IPA or a double IPA can be uh, offensive it's it's not offensive The mouthfeel is like, it's actually, this is actually pretty cool. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a combination of like a hazy IPA mouthfeel, like a creamy mouthfeel and a West Coast IPA with like the bitterness and stuff. It's a, it's a, just the mouthfeel alone is cool. But it is very, um, the bitterness is big and it almost tastes like, like it's drying and it almost tastes like, uh, like it was like aged on wood or something for a very short period of time. There's like this slight, um, I guess, I guess it's, um, I don't know if it's from the Simcoe, but it, it's like, there is like this woody character to it, but then the dryness kind of just like completes that like, uh, perception of it. So, so I kind of want to say it's like, it's not right. No, it is not aged on wood as far as this can tells me. Whole lot of Simcoe. Maybe that could be it. Maybe maybe there's just a shit ton of Simcoe in here, and it's just giving me those the those those um those woodland those woodland vibes. There is like this big, I don't even know how to explain it. It's citrus. It's citrus and I want to say it's pithy, but it's not. It's like a combination of pithy and like juice. Like not juicy, just straight, like, like uh, straight juice. Well, I guess that's the same thing. 
don't know. When I hear juicy, I feel I feel like that's like um, uh, it, people use it as like um, a descriptor for like like creamy. I'm I'm not saying. I mean, I guess it just goes back to like, this is a, like, to me, this is a really good like, uh, East Coast, West Coast hybrid thing, or New England IPA, West Coast. I would maybe, I would maybe just dial down the Simcoe a little bit, because it is very it is very uh is is cloying the right word i don't know it's it's kind of heavy like like um if you if you watch my reviews you know that i find ipas and double ipas to be heavy after drinking um them a little bit but because of, like usually the thickness of them they're usually just like heavy this is like that except it's not the uh like consistency of it it's it's the it's the it's the flavor or it's the taste rather yeah just dial that back just a little bit But yeah, this is good. I like this. This is how I like my IPAs. And this one is especially nice because it does include both the uh, like New England style IPAs and the West Coast style IPAs. I am a fan of this. Just tone down the Simcoe just a little bit. Just a little bit. I am getting a little bit of... I think it's like, I think it's from the malt. After not taking a sip for a little bit, getting a little bit, or actually it might be the that dryness. Yeah, whatever. It's giving me malty woody vibes. That's what it, that's what it's giving me. More more woody than malty, but um, yeah. So you can like this video if you would like to. You can subscribe to the 93 Lumber YouTube channel if you would like to. If you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93Lumber. That's spelled out, 93Lumber. Um, and yeah, I hope you're staying safe. Hope you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself the most important thing uh and i hope you're uh if there's anyone around you i hope you're helping them as much as you can if there's no one around you i hope you're trying to keep that uh i hope you're trying to stay like that as much as possible i know we live in a capitalist society and uh and uh the government doesn't want to do shit for anybody so even though we pay them to do shit for us they refuse to so uh so yeah so yeah i hope you're uh hope everyone's doing all right doing well not all right i hope you're doing better than all right all things considered and yeah thank you kyle for this beer i am enjoying it very much and uh we'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>